And tonight it's the 104th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. We learn about the Scottish heroine on board the worst maritime disaster in British history. It's the 104th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic and we're learning about one of the survivors who was hailed as a heroine. The Countess of Rothes helped row one of the lifeboats to safety helping rescue lives from the icy waters of the North Atlantic and Alexander Leslie, the great grandson of Noel, the Countess of Rothes, joins us now. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank now, you. what do you know about your great grandmother? mother's bravery? Well, uh, I think the whole problem started because of the confusion. No one thought that the Titanic could sink. Uh, it was billed as unsinkable. Yeah. Um, so by the time they got their life jackets, found that there were actually life jackets, been told to go to lifeboat number eight, um, got into lifeboat number eight and been set adrift. Um, then they realised that uh, these, these things were big. I mean, they were 20 foot long, made of, of wood, and you needed three able seamen to run them. And there was one able seaman, two stewards, and the stewards were useless. And so between them, the, the able seaman recognised my great-grandmother as somebody who had a bit of something about her. <laughs> and so she basically took over and she um, organised the rowing, she rowed herself, and she's a tiny little lady. Um, and so she switched between running the tiller and um, organising the rowing and rowing herself. Um, and she made everybody sing, because it was the middle of the night, they hadn't got very much on, it was very, very cold. Um, and then she, you know, basically guided them through till they got to Carpathia. And she was really embarrassed that she fainted when she was being hoisted onto the Carpathia, <laughs> bless her. And she, she said in the letter it was really stupid. And then once she'd recovered, she just went for the rest of the voyage, which was another four days, made clothes for babies and really got stuck in and, and helped everybody. Amazing. Oh, what a fascinating story. Now, Amazing. when you were growing up, um, did your family talk about the disaster or no, not at all. any of the history um, of it? No, uh, it was only much later when I uh, realised, you know, the sort of my great grandmother was actually quite famous in her day. What's perhaps stranger is that my father, so it was his granny a generation close, uh, closer, only knew that uh, granny had been on in a horrendous shipwreck, nothing more. Then he found a box of cuttings and that's when he went, you know, this is quite significant. Imagine <laughs> that but, as you go through the box, the information, yeah. putting two together Piecing it all that. together, it's incredible. Yeah, Do you have a lot of mementos or memorabilia from, from your great grandma? We don't have a lot. We have two, I think, very special ones, which I, I think you have. Um, yeah. One is the, the actual um, a number eight from the lifeboat. So Abel Seaman Jones took the number eight off and sent that to my great grandmother as a, a thank you for basically helping save the lives of the people in the lifeboat. And she had a, a fob watch, the silver fob watch, yeah. made uh, with his initials and the date and from herself. And he apparently wore it every day of his life. He was very proud of it. Thought it was absolutely uh, wonderful. That's absolutely That's incredible, yeah. isn't it? I know. So well, it's, uh, it's such a very, a special... it's a very special thing. It's yeah. actually part of the fabric of the of the Titanic. Yeah. Such a big part of history. And how would you like your your great grandmother to be remembered? Well, I, I think the whole Titanic thing it seems to sort of grow. I mean, we're hundred and fourth anniversary, and still there are mm. stories, and still yeah. there's an excitement. It was almost like the moment when the British Empire sort of fell. But I think she would like to be remembered as um, somebody who was able to help people. Uh, she was in the right place at the right time and very self-effacing and I think I'll, I think I'll go with that, frankly. Yeah, yeah it's a fantastic memory and story to, to be able to, to tell. It's it is absolutely is incredible. Tragic, we must be so proud yeah. to be part yeah. of that family yeah. as well. Yeah. An incredible lady. Thank you so much for coming in to tell us a Pleasure. little bit more about Thank it, Alexander. Alexander. Fantastic to have you on the sofa.